Hey y'all, how you doing? This is Carla. And I'm here with a very quick, I hope very quick, inspiration, inspirational message to you. I wasn't going to record today. I did my recording on yesterday. So you'll be seeing my um, my lives through the week. I, I record on Sunday and I run them again all during the week to be an inspiration and, and um, some encouragement for you. And I thought I was through. But this is just lingering in me to speak this because I've actually written about it before. Um, as it is so profound for me. It means so much for me and I know and hope and pray that it will impact you as well. I have a problem with looking at the camera. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I feel lopsided, but I'm going to just do my best. Just call me Peter. I actually, when I first wrote this, I called it and Peter. Peter. One reason I'm reminded of this is due to actually a, a video I've been seeing online. I saw it um, earlier during the week, and it was it was funny. But it was profound. And I don't know who the young man is who made the video. I think it was, it's a TikTok video. But I've seen it as a reel. R-E-E-L here on Facebook. And um, it was kind of like it, he made a rap song. Okay. And he's he's posing as, as the um, as four disciples. And um, there's I think he had um, Paul. Uh, I know he has Paul. I, I don't remember the other two, but the fourth one was that Peter. <laughs> Peter, and he came in the video, you know, Peter, Peter was a profound disciple and apostle. But Peter was just like many of us. Peter would be like, we would say hood. <laughs> Peter was bold and Peter uh, was boisterous and Peter uh, stood up and and even, you know, like in the video, he even said, you know, if you be too near to Jesus, I'll slice off your ear. Slice, slice. <laughs> and that's so funny to me. But <laughs> but, it's, but it's, it's true. Peter didn't take no mess. Peter, Peter did some things. Peter... Um, uh, Peter's history, uh, even from you know when he became a disciple, but Peter made some mistakes. Sounds like you? I know it sounds like me. Made some major mistakes. So sounds like me. Messed up. Denied Christ. After after he fought for Christ, you know he did chop that man's ear off. Because they were going to arrest Jesus. Peter's the kind of guy, you know, what, what, what they say, my ride or die. That's what Peter was. Peter's like, no, you're not going, you're not going to touch the master. You're not going to take Jesus slice. You know, he fought. <laughs> um, Peter also at one time uh, displayed prejudice. He didn't want to, um, to eat the food that he sensed uh, unclean and um, he didn't particularly care about being in a party or, or the, the environment or the group that he was in because he had a prejudice against them. You know, Peter could be anybody but you know Christ had to show him, he was shown that whatever God has presented you know it's it's not dirty it's not clean but this is not about those customs that was custom that was religion okay um that's not what this is about but peter represents so many people now after jesus was 
crucified uh, and buried. Peter, along with the other disciples, they decide they they dispersed. Well, first Peter denied Jesus when 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 Jesus was on trial when they were trying to um, uh, uh, you know put charges against him. Peter denied because they're like, "Aren't you with him? Aren't you one of the ones?" No, I don't know him. You know, three times. Now, Jesus had already said, had already told them, the disciples, that, you know, one of you are going to betray me before the um, the rooster crows three times. You're going to deny me before the rooster crows. You're going to deny me. And Peter's like, not me, Lord. I'll stand with you. You know, I'm here with you. Not me. How many times... Pardon me, that's so rude, but I'm trying to finish my coffee before it cools down. <laughs> but how many of us have made the statement that, you know, I'm going to follow the Lord. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to be there. But then when the pressure comes, the pressures of life, the things that happen, we deny Him. Some people, uh, I mean, something as simple as, and this is something I learned when I was in, in school, in junior high. I remember uh, being in the cafeteria at school, and I know that I knew to pray, to say my blessings, to ask God to bless my food. And I remember thinking, I can't do that here. Not with all these kids around here. Somebody going to look at me. Somebody going to talk about me. Somebody going to laugh at me. You know, but God dealt with me about that. Don't deny him. Don't reject him. And I was convicted of that. And since that time, I, I, I don't do that anymore. I don't care who's looking. I don't care where I'm at. I'm in a restaurant, I'm at somebody's house or whatever. I'm going to stop and bless my food. But some people can't get over that. They don't want to be seen um, as a Christian. Or they don't want to be seen doing the right thing. Because they might not be in the right company. you know. But maybe that means we don't need to be around that company. So instead of denying and rejecting Christ, we should deny ourselves. I was just reading that this morning in the um, verse of the day. To deny ourselves and to pick up our, our cross and to uh, follow him. We have to move ourselves out of the equation at times. We need to remove ourselves out of the way. Deny ourselves. Okay? And let God be God. Well, you know, we're human. I'm not saying it's right, but we do it. Peter did it. But what is significant is that when Jesus was res resurrected and the women, the two Marys, Mary, um, the, um, Mary Magdalene and, and Mary the mother of James, and also the third one, I think her name was Salome, they, were, uh, they went to the, um, to the grave to do what they do, what they did with the body. They, they didn't do um, embalming like they do now. So they had to go anoint the body and all that. That was their purpose. But the angel was there and told them that Christ is not here. He has risen. And he told them to go into Jerusalem and tell his disciples, Jesus' disciples. But in Mark 7, Mark, I'm sorry, Mark 16, verse 7, the angel stipulated to tell his disciples and Peter. Why was it important to point out Peter? Because you can put your name there. Go tell my disciples and Carla. Why? Because I know that Peter felt ashamed of what he did. And I'm sure he was discouraged and bad enough, you know, to them, the Savior had died to them, you know. But the angel made a point to let the, to make sure that Peter knows that he has risen. He has risen, and he's gonna, he's gonna. They did see him, his glorified body. They did, well, they did see him. He was still um, human form as well because he did eat, but 
he was in his glorified body. But that means that I know you, I got you, I see you, I love you, and you are forgiven. You are forgiven. You are not an outcast. You may have been wrong. You've done wrong. But you're still my child. So. No matter how you messed up. No matter what you've done wrong. I'm not condoning it. But. Know that God still loves you. He is still for you. Jesus Christ rose for you. God gave his only begotten son for you. And his son gave his life for you. And he's coming back for you. So you can put your name in there. No matter what. You know Peter Peter was hood. Peter was something else. Peter was, was, was um, in some ways terrible. But Jesus still chose him. To be one of his followers. And then Peter after this. Peter became one of the greatest preachers. Peter the day of Pentecost. Peter preached to thousands. Thousands gave their lives to Christ. That Peter. That Peter that denied him. Wasn't denying him no more. No more. So you can still go on. And do great things. You can still go on and do the things that God has called you to do. Peter had Peter had to go through all of that. To get to where he was going. He had to experience all of that. Now he can say. You know. You don't need to deny Christ. I don't know why my hair keeps getting in my eyes. But um. God is still there. God is holding you. God has designed you. God has created you. For a purpose. Okay. So you can put your name in there. And Carla. And you. Whatever your name is. So. Just call me Peter. Just call me Peter. Thank you God for including me. And remembering me. And loving me. And holding me. And understanding me. And knowing me. Embracing me, not not uh, putting me away, but including me as being a recipient of your grace and your mercy. Thank you, Lord, and allowing me to do great things. There's greatness in me. There's greatness in you. You can do it. And God knows. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. And this is Carla with today's inspiration. God bless you.